contracts. There are four veteran centers in Tennessee, but not one of them is in the only county with a military post and the highest number of veterans. A group of local lawmakers say it doesn't make any sense. The vital counseling services should be available in Fort Campbell's backyard. New at 6, News Channel 5's Kim Gebbia tells us how it could make a difference for America's men and women who serve. Transitioning from combat to Clarksville can be difficult for Fort Campbell veterans. It's not easy because you go from being over in this foreign country, place, you know, being blown up, bombs going off around you, having to be, kind of keep your eyes out for everything while you're over there. You come back here, you're still in the same thing, and it's hard. That's why recent vet and mother of two, Sandra Sullen, is supporting the push to get a vet center built in Clarksville. Yeah, well, they'd be in Fort Campbell right here. There are so many soldiers right here. I mean, why can't we have one closer? The nearest facility for vets is 50 miles away in Nashville. For some, that's just 50 miles too far. And there's a need, and Nashville is a little bit far for a lot of veterans, especially when they get up in age. The distance, cost, and inconvenience limits access to Montgomery County, which boasts the highest number of veterans in the state. I think that the more accessible you make these services, the more likely veterans are to take advantage of them. Clarksville Councilman and veteran Nick Stewart says counseling is crucial for recent vets who served multiple tours in the Middle East and have the highest rate of PTSD and psychological issues. It's a vulnerable gap in this military community he believes needs to be filled. Currently we don't have a facility like this in Clarksville. And residents are speaking out to state lawmakers about that void. One woman wrote about her fiance. He still suffers from some PTSD. He was released from active duty and feels his care was not taken seriously. We truly believe a vet center would make a huge difference. Another writes, seriously, for a community to have three VA clinics at or near capacity and an active duty infantry post and no vet center, please correct this ridiculous travesty. More people would reach out to want to get help, to talk about, you know, get the right help that they need, the right therapy that they need. It, I mean, it would, we really need it. State Representative Joe Pitts is the one taking the lead on the push for this new vet center. He's collecting letters for a petition to the Department of Veteran Affairs. And if you have an opinion about this issue, he wants to hear from you. All of the contact information is on our website, newschannel5.com. Vicki? Thanks, Kim. By the way, the other vet centers are in Knoxville, Memphis, and Johnson City.